everybody. Today I am sharing with you another one of my design team projects. This one is for Pear Tree Treasures. Um, this is located in Canada. And my good friend Monica Partridge owns this store. And stop by and check it out, especially all you Canadian ladies. I think you would love it. She carries so many things. It's hard to choose because she has so much. The project that I'm doing today is an expanded folio in box. And I used this amazing collection. This is Reminisce, the book three. And this is by Elizabeth Craft Designs. This amazed me. I cannot get over how much is in this. There are 32 double-sided sheets. And they are patterned cardstock and pattern papers. It's, it is flipping amazing, folks. There is still a ton left in here to do other projects. So you absolutely get your money's worth on this. And some of these graphics are just amazing. Love, love, love them. So let's get right into this project. This is what I made. I did create the box also. Very easy. Um, I have links down below to my blog where I have posted a cutting guide, materials list, and an assembly uh, information and pictures there as well. So check that out. There's a link, as I said, down in the description. There's also a link to Pear Tree Treasures. So check that out. And don't forget to click on subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming projects. I will be posting tons more. Again, this is the box. Um, that I made to hold the folio and look at the design on this paper. It's, it's truly amazing. When I posted a picture of this, someone wanted to know if this is like a stamp, you know, that was added. No, this is all within this pattern paper. I did go ahead and I added the black um, seam binding and I had made a flower. This is from one of the dies that I had and I had made this for another project and didn't use it and I thought it went perfect with this particular one. So opening this, this is the inside of the box. Everything that you see is in that paper collection. So in that paper pad, there's tons of cut aparts. The, again, the paper and the cardstock, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love, love, loved it. I added a strip of the seam binding to carry it over. And the numbers, number cards, I love those. Again, those were all cut apart. So this is the folio. Let me take this out so I can show you. I usually put ribbon inside whenever I'm going to put um, an album or a folio in a box so that it's easy to remove and take out. Um, that way you're not trying to kind of fish it out with your fingers. As you can see, I did go ahead and paper the inside as well. And of course, all along the edges. And the underneath, of course. Love this collection, as I said, just very, very cool papers. Um, this box, the overall box is nine by six and a half by one and a half. And I wanted the lid to do a slight hangover, as you can see. That's so I made it just a little bit larger and it worked out exactly how I was hoping. So, you know, it doesn't always come out exactly as you're hoping. But this is the expanded folio. Again, check out these papers. They are I just absolutely love them. Um, I didn't want to cover up much of this because I loved the graphics on here. I did go ahead and use one of the little cut aparts down here. And this says this moment I used one of the um, the black flat back pearls that I had to go ahead and set that off. And on these flowers, I used different size flat back pearls to kind of accent those flower centers. I just thought that kind of gave it a little something extra. Opening this 
again, I wanted this to carry over so that it was all one smooth graphic. So it, it just worked out perfect. So opening the front flap, there is a magnetic closure to help keep it closed. Since it is expanded, um, there's a lot in here. So I wanted to go ahead and make a magnetic closure. And there's another one about midway through to kind of aid in the keeping it all together. Um, this is one of the cut aparts. Love it. I made a small pocket down at the bottom here to hold this. Very cool large tag. And then opening this. Very, very cool. So, so much. These are some of the very cool papers. I have a pocket down in the bottom of this. And again, these are some of the cut aparts that are in that collection. Tons of space for pictures, journaling. There's just so much space. I did use a little bit of black ribbon to kind of accent this side a little bit. Coming over to the next page. Love this graphics. And this is a little booklet with a stop. You can put a photo or some journaling in this one. And this is another booklet with a stop. You could put a picture or some journaling. And then you can also date it here. And then this is another one of the very cool large tags. I used one of the cut aparts. I have a bottom pocket down here that mimics the uh, belly band here so that everything stays put nicely and you don't have to worry about anything falling out or getting lost. It's not going to go anywhere. There's so many ways to open this. It's, it's just kind of crazy. So let's go this way. I do have these magnetized. You can open this. And again, isn't this just too cool? Again, all cut aparts. So you have that one. There's two here. This one's stationary. This has another number, little number tag inside from the cut aparts. Here's another one. And this just slides right back in here magnetically enclosed here. And then on this side, this is an expandable pocket here. You could put a ton of stuff in here. These postcards I thought were so cool. And these were absolutely in the cut aparts. This one I did went ahead and made a booklet and this could be a stop to put photos behind or some more journaling. And again, this is an expanded pocket, so you can put an awful lot in here, folks. This opens. And you've got in the center, I have a belly band, and then I used one of the tags here to kind of offset and make it a little more interesting and some more of the tags. On this side, and this is a booklet. And this is just one of the cut aparts. And I kind of did a oh, off center belly band. This is another tag. And of course, a stop here to hold it slides right back in. You open this. And again, some more of these very cool cut apart pockets that I just love, 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 love. These fit right back in. Aren't these graphics on these papers amazing? Again, love these, love, love, love. This is such a cool collection and there's just so much of it. So, 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 so much of it. Let's open it this way. I think I showed you that already. Okay, let's go this way. There is so much to this. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of hard. You get carried away and you're like, did I show that already or not? But as you can see, there is a lot to this expanded folio. Let's go ahead and turn this over. And here you have the back side. This is actually the very back. And you have a booklet here. This slides right back inside. And there's a stop at the bottom to keep it all in place so it doesn't go anywhere. 
And then over here, you have more of these. These are cute little booklets. And another large tag. I really, really like these numbers. I think those are so cool. When you close this, well, I'm going to turn this back over this way. When you close this folio, you're going to close this side, this side, and then this comes up and folds back over itself. And that is the expanded folio. Quite a lot of space. I hope you enjoyed this one and i hope you give it a try it really is not very difficult to make i think that you would really have a you know a really easy time putting it together as i said um, there's a link down in the description for my blog and it does have cutting instructions as well as assembly instructions so check it out stop back in often i will be posting several more creations so check back folks Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it.